Dua Fragrance's Fierce Atar re-review. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little re-review on this Dua Fragrance's Fierce Atar. Now I've almost sprayed the full batch of this one. I have sprayed 100% of the original Dua's Fierce. That one's been long gone. And I do have a little bit of Fierce Supernova as well, which I really do like. I like all three of these. And one of the best things I could say about Dua is that they took their time fine-tuning this classic fragrance. So it's almost like anything that they do with this fragrance is going to be at this tip-top quality. Quality. Now, I really wanted to do a re-review back in March when I re-sprayed this one. However, I've been kind of revisiting it, been kind of like getting the last little drops out of it. And I really don't think my review is going to change too much from the original review. Um, this fragrance is absolutely fantastic. Um, I was actually surprised that a lot of people who like Fierce weren't really a fan of Dua's Vintage Fierce. Um, well, I mean, a lot of people did like it, but there was a few people who it just really wasn't for them. There was almost like a body odor type vibe to it, almost like like a teenage type vibe to it and some people actually uh, gave the fragrance away which actually just blew me away because Dua's Fierce was just so phenomenal when it comes to Fierce. Next to the original classic Fierce it's for sure number one if it's not number one. So this really takes all the strength of the original Fierce and just takes a little bit of that sharpness, a little bit of that immaturity away, but it still smells very, very fiercey. You know, I do crave it to have a little bit more of that classic sharpness and that classic slight immaturity to me just because I've smelled it and I think of that in fierce, but this stuff is absolutely phenomenal and it's nuclear. It's one of those ones where I could be on a hot summer day for sure, spray this two or three times and I'm really almost golden for the rest of the day. I will probably get whiffs of myself, you know, seven, eight hours from now. If I were to hug anybody, they would definitely smell it. Um, if I were to get really right next to somebody, even at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure they would smell it. It's gonna last on your clothes for I mean, it's probably a few days. It just has nuclear projection and it's just so pleasant and so nice. And I really wouldn't say this one is stronger than the original Do Is Fierce. I think that that was kind of the marketing campaign is that the Atars is just like the maximum amount of everything they could put in the fragrance so much so that it makes the original fragrance different but stronger. I don't really get that one with this one. I get this as more of a a less immature fierce if you're somebody who likes fierce and the fierce dna and you know you want it to be a little less immature i really can't think of anything more perfect than this all the fragrance notes are just popping out in the highest qualities um i do smell a little bit more lemon i would say in the original fierce and the original fierce or do as vintage fierce is a little bit more fresh here but um this maintains most of what i like about fierce you know if i were to compare this to the Fierce Intense that I've smelled, um, the Fierce Intense, now this is the 2016 version. That version is more sweet, more spicy for sure, much more of a nighttime scent, much more of a cold weather scent, but still smells like Fierce ironically. This one, I guess it would still be more of a, a hot weather style fragrance, maybe a little bit more of those middle temperatures. If I were to compare um, Central Obsessions Vicious with this one, um, Central Obsessions Vicious reminds me of the 2009-2010 Vintage Fierce. Um, not really Vintage Fierce, were that batch of Fierce. Now at that time, we're getting out of the less impressive batches. I would say the most like shocking and most impressive batches have been the first two, which is like the Red Letter and the Silver Cap. Those for me personally but I got into Fierce around 2009 so that was Fierce to me and it just smells like those classic style fragrances and they're all good I mean I would say I like this one just because there's something special about this combination to make it smell so pure like Fierce and so high quality like these notes are just off the wall so Anyways, guys, my updated review, it's probably going to be in line with the original review of Fierce Atar because I pretty much have the same feelings for it. I absolutely love it. It's a powerhouse. It smells so clean and it's pretty much near perfect. I would slightly prefer Dua's Vintage Fierce to this one. I would also probably prefer the actual Vintage Fierce that I own probably over this one only because the original Vintage Fierce for some reason gets like so many compliments. It's just absolutely crazy. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Fierce Atar. I know that they've dropped some other ones and I know Alexandria has their version of Fierce, so I'll be interested to try that one out as well. But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, I'm having a great day at home. See you on the next video. Peace.